Hello everyone, we're back in the fan game. But before we start, I'm gonna quiz you a little bit. Now we're finally going to continue this now. So our plan for the day is to get through these next four levels. Hopefully this will be around like 30-ish minutes for me. But who freaking knows, because this is on hard mode, I could actually die. But let's, let's, let's let, not fret about it too much. Okay, so I think last time we got this. And um, this pretty much like knocks back zombies. So yeah, I guess we're probably going to be using it. Hmm, I probably should have brung that shooter. Ah, we'll be fine. So again, I'm gonna do the, the same old good old strategy. Just placing all these down. But, right now, I hope I'll maybe continue doing more editing stuff like that. Maybe quiz you on the, on the lore, you know? this game even though honestly I don't know though I mean like I didn't really expect the plot to be that extensive though that's what it surprised me the most is that um you know they're they're, they're bringing up stuff from the from the mincrift world I don't know I'm not sure what's happening yet I guess I'm what I'm assuming is like somehow the both the world somehow like managed to merge or something but um i mean really only time can really tell do i even need the like this T i don't think i actually do need the the tnt mine <laughs> uh, i think about it oh god i already have one of these okay wait Go set up a defense like that. Actually, this might be kind of a problem because um, it's only going to be able to one of these to be able to shoot. <laughs> oh god, there's already another one already. I probably should restart this because uh, I think I messed up a little bit <laughs> on my uh, setup. I think I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything here. Oh, I guess the piston can still do st Oh, I guess it also instantly just destroys um, things. Okay, I... I did not expect that, to be honest. I think it takes a while, though. Yeah, it does take a while to... I mean, I don't even know what I'm gonna even put on this final lane here. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't got any problems here. <laughs> okay, I probably should have kept my dispenser shooters, to be honest, but... Uh, <laughs> Fuck me, am I right? Don't worry, we can just uh, do that, and we're good. I kind of screwed myself over with this setup, to be honest, but I mean, we'll keep it in mind if I somehow survive this, right? Which I think I will. This isn't like this isn't like impossible, all right? There you go huge wave of monsters is approaching. Right. Ah, I just realized what's happening here. <laughs> and it's not good because, um... Okay. 
So, somehow the ghosts are still affected. Somehow they're affected by the piston. I'm not sure how, but they are. Um... I gotta say, though, pistons are kind of carrying me right now. <laughs> oh, god. Yep, okay, well, that glowstone's broken. <laughs> Alright, wait, don't worry. No, it's just... Place it. It's all good. Always concerned about just pushing back the zombies constantly, right? Yeah, at this point, I have a lot of uh, sun here. And I also just realized that I also have the plant food here, too, so, um. I really should just be good, right? Just, like, keep on doing that, whatever the. the mob mobs come up and then I'll be I'll be good. I think all the Oh yeah the skeleton shoots over those too. I think that that did happen before where I I think they could shoot the furnaces but like here they can't because like it's too low so yeah. However okay, now um Kinda just fucking around at this point because uh, <laughs> it's not really much of a obstacle here. I mean, I guess stuff does start like actually attacking, but I probably should have thought about the you know what should be like my long-term shooter, right? But <laughs> this this seems to be working out just fine, all right? I don't know. Actually, wait. What do I? Okay, yeah. Uh, Obsidian's like covered in like a neat wall, so yeah. Uh, Cause why not? <laughs> We're gonna stall them a little bit longer and just have like the final pistons just here. Cause there is no structure to my defense at all. <laughs> Oh, an iron helmet guy. Well, it's probably gonna take away a little while. Actually, wait. Is it gonna take a while to kill that guy? It probably is. Oh, never mind. He's just dead. Okay. Oh, damn. The piston only got one. It's all good, though. We got so many of these pistons that we're not gonna be. Running out of them anytime soon. I'm probably gonna skip this up a little bit because uh, not really much is happening. Oh yeah, okay. Now um, some statues are gonna just ruin everything, right? Damn, there you go. Freaking gargoyles again or something. Even though, like... I, mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, they wouldn't really know what a gargoyle is. Because, I mean, like, you don't see gargoyles like, anywhere just chilling out. <laughs> At least I wouldn't assume so. I just realized that there's a problem down here. That's fine though, because we have so many pistons that it's gonna take for fucking ever for them to get through. Alright. This is kind of a problem though. I don't like this right here, right? Okay. This is this is a little hard, but don't worry, we can should probably take care of this guy first. There you go. <laughs> it's fine though. There you go, finally. <laughs> Bam. 
$2,190. That's enough for $2,191 back chips, I guess. Aha! We, oh, wait, I gotta finally do voices. I kind of forgot that about that. Okay, let's do this. Aha! We finally, we found Orin's Alamanac. Yes, this is my Alamanac. Thank you. However, perhaps you need this more than I do. Wabby wobble. Huh? This Alamanac will automatically record contraptions, enemies, and other information you've come across. Is it really convenient too? If it's you, you might make the most out of it. And to express my appreciation, please take it as a gift. Oh really? Oh really? Sweet, thanks a bunch. Alright. Yeah, I remember, you just you just get the Alamac. Hmm, that's the same. Why did you guys follow the map all the way over here? Ah, I almost forgot. We're gonna go to another world called Genesoku. You've been looking everywhere for a way to get there. Go to another world, isn't it? Right, I do have such a method for that. I have a magical key. It can open a portal to the dream world, which connects to other worlds. Whoa, was that so? Then could you help s sending us there? Um, to be honest, there's a problem. That key was stolen. Stolen? When I was on patrol nearby, I was attacked by a monster. That monster was so strong that fleeing was my only choice, and the key was robbed at the time. Oh, that ain't good. Okay. Now, finally, we're trying to go to the other world. I guess I'm just along here for the ride. Anyway, now I can finally view the enemies and view all the characters, right? Um, I don't know. Should I just... I'm probably gonna read these. Actually, yeah, let's just read them right now. And that's all of it. <laughs> Alright. Let's actually do this level now. Key's gone. Luck ain't good. And today... But put that to side and focus on today's fight. The storm is raging and the sky is dark. No zombies today, but don't ignore the ghosts. They can be completely invisible. Never fear, we can still discover them by the light from lightning strikes. Take your sword into battle, but avoid attacking those innocent ghosts passing by, or they will punish you. Now, let's hunt those who have fallen into darkness. Um, I... What the f... I saw, uh... Okay. Gotcha. Wow, these guys are, like, really fast. Okay. And also, the fact that I don't have any lawnmowers for this is... Okay, that was an innocent ghost right there, I guess. There you go. Oh. I'm probably actually gonna die if I hit those ghosts by accident. <laughs> That's actually really scary. Okay. I do rem Oh, wow, okay. Uh, oh god. I don't remember where they are. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, I remember like one there in the last lane right there. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Memorize it. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, there you go. This is really scary. Oh, God. Alright. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, I think there's a the last one like right here. I think. 
Okay. I do not remember where the rest of them were. Okay. Final wave, right? Oh, God. Okay, I know there's like two over here, but... Okay. Final wave? Yep, okay. I gotta really focus on this one right here. Oh, I don't remember where they fucking were. Ah, fuck me. I'm joking. Stop, 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 oh. stop. That's unfortunate. No! However, that is our first death, though. But for right now, at least we can retry this. So I'm going to probably speed this up for you. Thank fuck! Holy shit! I was spam clicking there. Oh my god. Whew. All right. Happy birthday! Here's your dangerous cake. This is TNT. After you trigger it, it will go kaboom and blow up all the surrounding zone enemies. What? How to trigger? Let me show you later. Oh man. Okay. That was a lot harder than I remember it. But then again, I am playing on you know, really hard mode, so of course I would probably die a couple of times. Anyway, let's continue the plot. So, what's the monster that attacked you? A giant terrible monster and strong corpse monster powered with enormous amount of electricity. It's called Frankenstein. Frankenstein? But that's just some fictional stuff from a novel. I also thought it was, but it really does exist. Sorry for my negligence. The situation should have not have ended like this. Never mind that. We just need to get the key back. If you wish to combat the, the, the monster, please take caution. Alright. I'm assuming... I guess... Yeah. I guess that's what the monster is called. And then again, I never really knew what it was called initially. I also kind of forgot how it even looks like. Oh, whatever. Well, to start off, let me teach you how to trigger contraptions. Just click the trigger gear and then click the contraption on the field. Easy peasy. Bombs like TNT don't need ME to trigger, but some contraptions do. If you feel that's complicated, there's an option in settings that makes bombs that might automatically explode without triggering. But keep in mind that it's sometimes better to set up those TNT than explode with good timing. Alright, let's try it out. Before we start, I assume that you'll need the seventh contraption slot. What do you say? For the seventh slot, what do you say? And sure, dude. <laughs> Deal. Have a nice day. Alright, well, that's nice. Ooh, we got... Mummy. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what this does yet, though. I think I rem... I don't know. I don't know if I remember what these guys do. Um... I guess we'll figure it out, though. Um, I should probably make sure that I just have ghosts, though, just because, you know. <laughs> Last time was kind of a disaster without it. Why did I bring potato mine? I probably should have replaced that with Punchton. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I just realized how stupid it is to bring it here, because it's not... Like, who cares? <laughs> I 
gotta be on top of my placement game, alright? Cause like, I keep on like, messing up constantly. <laughs> We got some real defense now, alright? We're dropping some real stuff here. I don't know what this guy does. <laughs> so far, he seems to just kind of be chilling. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ooh, what the f I do not know what that is, actually. <laughs> like, le oh, it leaves like a poisonous gas. Oh, okay, well. That's actually, oh no, I just realized how, wait. Nope, okay, I'm losing that, but that's fine because I was only like 25, all right? I'm not in like an immediate situation where I need to really replenish anything. That is gonna break my, um. That do be breaking my, uh. My one, uh, small dispenser, but that's fine. Oh no! Son of a gun, man. I should have been a little bit careful about this, but that's fine. Wait. Can we replenish this somehow? Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Huh. And again, these guys aren't like, they aren't invincible. They just have a really high resistance. Who knows? I might be able to take out this guy. But if that if that's the case, uh, I don't know. I might still be fine though. Oh yeah, then again, he is gonna destroy a lot of my uh, stuff, actually. Oh, there you go. Well, that's that's not too bad, actually. <laughs> uh, just gotta be a little bit careful with that glowstone next time. All right. Make sure I don't mess up like a fool. Oh man, how much damage does that do to my obsidian? <laughs> That's like... Ghosts actually just get, I guess they just get completely just stopped by, um, uh, I just realized I'm probably gonna need a TNT here, so, oh, I, that was too late. That's fine, though. That is fine. What does this do? I guess it just stuns all the, the guys for a bit. There you go. And, you know what? Yeah, let's just kill these guys as well. There you go. Now, we have our next thing here. Your soul shall be mine. Behold, the soul furnace. It can shoot deadly soul fireballs and burn groups of enemies upon it. But what does it cost? It needs to sacrifice a contraption in front of it as its fuel. Let the enemies burn in hell. Okay. Actually, that does not sound too bad. Because when I think about it, right? I could just use like a small dispenser, right? <laughs> and that's like free. Also, I just realized that this anime girl in particular has a um, pumpkin eyes, actually. Hmm. I've been wondering, any idea on what this key looks like? That key is called the dream key. 
Using a dream key is one way to teleport to other worlds. However, the downside to this method is you must first visit the dream world of your targeted world. You'll later have to find a way to manually access the reality of that world via its dream world as well. Teleporting you to the dream world is all the key can do. Still sounds like a cool thing for me. If we have one, we can definitely go to Genosoko. So, okay. We can't all be waiting, sitting here waiting for Frankenstein to come. Just the time I have some lure spells to find and attract the target. Time for me to use this bad boy. We should be able to find the target in about three days. Oh, so, okay. Okay, I know. I'm kind of wondering how this works, but for right now, we're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, you know, I think I re I remember the pumpkins because these were really good, but now they're they're acting like the like that sacrifice thing. So I'm not sure. Um, I think like. I'm pretty sure last time I remember the pumpkin could actually like shoot through the um the thing like it could shoot the uh the ghosts but I'm not sure if it can still do that but if it can we should be pretty good. Let's see. I mean, we'll see how it goes first, right? That's how the sacrifice system works, and then it starts shooting that. Okay. Cool. Man, I really should have. Oh. So no oh, so no matter what, you actually have to sacrifice the, the thing in front of you. Okay, that's actually kind of a downside if that's the case. Okay. I did not know it worked like that though, but I mean, hmm. but I think. It can shoot these, right? Like, it can do damage to these? That is a sacrifice, though. Like, oh, wow. So, oh, you gotta just keep, you gotta keep on, like, sacrificing stuff constantly. Wow, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's really that good, then. Hmm. Yeah, okay, they really nerfed the pumpkins then. Oh my god. They really nerfed them pretty bad. Holy crap. I mean, then again, like, I guess if I produce enough sun, right? If right now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do max sun production, alright? We're gonna see how that goes, right? So... And I mean, if things don't work out too well, I can just always just stop using the thing, right? <laughs> but man, they really nerfed this. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Also, enemies can shoot my stuff from like far away. So, uh, gotta make sure that I can take care of that. I wonder, does Glowstone like... Oh wow, okay, Glowstone makes it so that they can really get filled up, okay. So, don't be afraid to use Glowstone on that. Alright, actually, it might just be because that it costs more, like, let's see. What if I drop this? Okay. Let's keep on sacrificing. <laughs> what if it sacrifices itself? Who knows? I don't think it would do anything, though. Not sure, though. Okay. Don't be afraid to use Glowstone, I guess.
fun. Yeah, I just realized I can just. There you go. <laughs> Bam! Oh wow, that that zombie death sound was really loud. Okay, seriously though, I I don't wait. Let's see, how's the? Okay, that's the special my food and it. Okay, that probably will probably just instantly kill things. But I cannot see myself using that too much. <laughs> the perfect and elegant dispenser is here. Here comes Sylvancer. Its knives can slice fleshes and deal more damage and can pierce anything which are not hard it's about time we showed the world i think these are like the ones that shoot the knives but like those are actually kind of useless if i remember because like they cannot do damage at all like uh let me see like it's like a pretty major weakness is that it says blocked by hard objects right so like yeah See, I thought how this initially was gonna work is that this was just, this just needed like one thing and it was good. But no, you need multiple things, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that too much, but, um, I guess for right now I'm gonna call it for an episode. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this so far and uh, we're gonna try and finish off this world next three levels. I really struggled on this one level, by the way. Um. But don't worry, at least we got past it. I thought I was going to die on that like five more times, but... Alright. Anyway, see you guys later. When I finish off this world.